What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my home studio. My name is Louie and today I'm going to be telling you all about one of the coolest guitars I've ever played. So stick around, find out what Tom Anderson guitars are all about. So this is by far one of the best guitars I have ever played in my entire life and I've played a lot of guitars. Tom Anderson's have always been amongst the very, very, very pinnacle of high-end boutique guitars with an extreme pedigree of players, you know, small and large. Anybody who is anybody has played or plays Andersons because they, they simply, in my opinion, they're the best. They beat quality, playability, sound. They beat Gibson Custom, PRS, Sir, Fender Custom Shop, I mean, and I own all those guitars, and they're all fantastic, but there is just something special about a Tom Anderson guitar that I have not felt in any other guitar that I've played. Tom's fretwork is, in my opinion, the best in the game. It, it does not get any better than this. I mean, it's just... It's perfect. I mean, it's literally perfect. There is no other way to describe it other than perfect. It's it's a beautiful thing. I mean, it's incredible. The feel, I, I mean, these, these guitars just play like butter, you know? And um, I love the satin necks, which uh, I love on my Music Mans. They're all satin and they have really good fret work too. And uh, I think they're up there with the best Music Man. Uh, but um, there's just something about these Andersons that they're just, they're just special, I mean, and Tom gets the best tops. I mean, you can't fucking beat that. I mean, it's beautiful. So with that being said, let's cut to some B-roll and get a couple close-up shots of this guitar. So I don't want to talk a whole lot about this guitar. I'd rather let you hear it. Um, but I do want to tell you about the specs and the features uh, about this guitar and, and things of that nature. So if you're not interested in any of that, head here and that's where you'll find some sound examples. So here is the, the spec sheet that comes with the guitar. You can kind of get a glimpse. Okay. and. As far as I know, when I'm making this video, this is the only only one done in this purple wake surf finish, which is just, I mean, it's, it's gorgeous. So basically, this is my ultimate weapon of a guitar, outside of my number one Les Paul, which is hidden behind me, um, because this is, it, it's it's the same components as a Les Paul, right? You have uh, maple top, mahogany back, and mahogany neck, and a rosewood fingerboard. But it's got 24 frets, you know? It's got this baby Floyd Rose that's just... It's, it's the coolest bridge. I mean, it's like... The Godo 510 is an incredible bridge on these guitars. 
and this just takes it to another level. It stays in tune. You can die bomb it. And it stays in tune perfectly. And you don't have to fight with a locking nut. And it's incredible what, what it does. The other thing that's cool is that this is 24 and 3 quarter inch scale length. So it's like a Les Paul. It's not like a Strat scale length, which in my personal experience, you know, like say playing a show or even, you know, here, I never had that issue that, that a lot of people talk about, you know, where they would mess up switching between a Strat and a Les Paul. Luckily, that never bothered me, but there's just something more comfortable about hanging out on this scale length than a Strat. So this guitar for me is, it's perfect because I'm, I'm a humbucker guy, okay? I like single coils in the neck a lot. This is not a very hot pickup and you can split it. So it does everything that you need it to do, right? I never really liked Floyd's because they were always a pain in the ass to get in tune and stay in tune and restring. And so this is kind of the best of both worlds because I like a floating tremolo over a deck bridge. I don't like those. All my, my tremolos, I float. So this baby Floyd Rose is like, uh, you know, the best of all the worlds. I, you can't say both because there's a lot of different kind of tremolo. So these are Anderson's pickups. This is an HC3 and an HC1, which I think it's an abbreviation for some kind of humbucker covered I, or humbucker cover. I think that's what uh, it's something like that. So you have a five way switch and a, can you see that? A push pull and a five way switch. Obviously you probably know, you know what these do, but bottom position, you have the bridge, then you have the split bridge and you have middle and then you can have split middle, split neck and neck. I think that's about all there is to, uh, to say. So I think we should get into some sound examples. All right, so we're going through the Sur PT100 and uh, I'll run you through a couple quick sounds with each pickup combination and we'll go from there. We're gonna start with the clean. Let's try a little bit of gain on for size. <laughs> Thank you. 
This is one of my favorite tones to use with this guitar because it's just so fun to rip a bunch of licks with a lot of gain. This is channel 3 of the PT100 with a little bit of delay. <laughs> totally go right to a or you can hit some stratty possibilities are endless with this guitar. It can do anything and everything you throw at it from crystal clear cleans to country, you know, chicken picking, which I'm not very good at, um, to 80s style, you know, insane sustained notes. Uh, it can do everything. It, it's a perfect workhorse for any style of music that you can play. This is 
one of the most incredible guitars that I have ever played. I played a lot of guitars, man. And this is, it's a dream come true. I mean, it's, it's incredible. It's incredible what these guys do. So in conclusion, I don't think there's much left to be said about these guitars. They're just incredible pieces of, of art. I mean, they are. Look at my other one. This is another one of my Andersons. It's just a completely different animal. Um, this is a hollow drop top classic. This is an incredible guitar too. And they're, they're just, they're beautiful. I mean, you can't help the fact that not only do they play incredible, the best playing guitars ever, but they also look incredible. I mean, you don't get that from anybody else. You know, we're so incredibly lucky to be living in a time where high quality gear is so abundantly available. I mean, everybody and their brother is making nice stuff right now, okay? but. Gibson Custom Shop hasn't done anything good, I think, since 2012. I haven't played any of the very, very, very new stuff, but the stuff I have played, I don't, I don't really, I don't really like. I don't jive with it. I've got my newest Gibson that that I own is a 2018 Les Paul Custom with a rich light board. And, you know, it gets the job done. It's cool because of what it is. Um, the, the, the customs are, they are what they are, you know, um, but these insane $8,000 reissues are, are, are junk. They're horrible guitars. I was at Sweetwater last year and I played a bunch of brand new R9s and R8s and they were, they were horrible. They, they, they were, they were, they, I would never, ever, ever buy one. My point is you've got Gibson Custom Shop. You've got PRS, Wood Library, Private Stock, incredible guitars. Uh, you've got Sir, you've got Fender Custom Shop. They all make fantastic guitars. I own every single one of those brands, okay? But there's just something about these Tom Andersons, man. I, I, I cannot express to you what it is you have to try one for yourself, okay? The second I opened this case and I put this guitar in my hand and I, and, I, and I just played a note on it, that's how all guitars are, you know, you pick it up and you either know if it's gonna be yours or not. And this is one of them and 
I cannot say enough good things about this guitar, these guitars, this brand, and uh, the other thing I love, not being an endorsed artist, I didn't even have this privilege when I was an endorsed artist with Music Man. You call up the phone, the, the phone number they give you, website on the, the case stuff, anything. You call their phone number, Tom picks up the phone. This guy, Tom himself, Tom Anderson himself picks up the phone, talks to you. He sent me parts for this other Anderson to fix the switch that I broke on the road. You don't, I love PRS guitars, but Paul didn't pick up the phone when you call. So it's just cool, it's just, everything about this company is impeccable. And let me say that this video is in no way, shape, or form by any mean sponsored or an advertisement for Tom Anderson guitars. They, they don't know I'm making this video, they'll probably never see it. But I, I just have such love and admiration for these guitars in this company that I want to express that to you. So please don't take this as an ad, but as me expressing my, my absolute love for guitars in general, and this just happens to be my, my most favorite guitars I've, I've ever played, and I'm, I'm so incredibly lucky that I get to play it every day. If you have the chance, go play in Anderson. I don't care what it is, you'll love it. Go play in Anderson, it'll change your life. There's only been a couple guitars that I've gotten and I haven't been able to put down. And from the day I got this, nonstop played it. I mean, I didn't pick up another guitar. I didn't pick up another guitar in this room for probably a week, okay? And then, you know, a week or so went by and I was like, man, fuck, these things are getting uh, ignored. <laughs> I should probably pick up another guitar. I'd love to know what you think about these guitars. Do you own one? Do you want one? Have you tried them? Do you not like them? You know, who's your favorite boutique builder, you know? Um, give me your thoughts in the comments and let me know. All right, so that's all I got for this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, all that YouTube-y stuff. And I'll see you in the next video.